Hola amigos and welcome to Looking at Cards. I'm Pedro Boyd aka Dro aka Texan Spaniard on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, Texan Spaniard Studios on Patreon and Coffee. And this is my show where I look at trading cards predominantly, but sometimes playing cards. Uh, Cause I'm a big fan of cards. And uh, this week we are going to be looking at some old uh, Pokemon cards I have from Japan. Uh, I have a lot of Pokemon cards from back in the day. Um, there, are, most of them are loose or whatever, but there are a few I had uh, still with the uh, the package. I mean, they're opened. The packages are open, but I kept the the covers and stuff, so I still had the covers. Uh, so yeah, I've got some from Japan. Let's take a look at some of those. And yeah, this should be fun. So let's get to it. All right. So here we go. And yes, here is one of those uh, Japanese packs I have from the past. Um, not sure what year this is. Uh, this is at least during Gold and Silver, I think. Uh, but I could be wrong. I could be very wrong there. But uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to struggle really hard with the names of these Pokemon. I'm just going to warn you all ahead of time because I'm not going to remember the names. But uh, what was this? Haunter? I think this was Haunter. And look, ooh, shiny stuff. Ooh. Ooh, shiny, shiny stuff. Always like the shiny stuff. Uh, yeah, that's what the back looks like. Pocket Monsters card game. Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. What else we got? Oh, is it Krabby or. I don't remember the name. <laughs> it's the crab one. It looks cool though. Uh, a horsey, right? Yeah, I think that's horsey. Uh, yeah, I really love the illustrations on these cards. That's all. I never played the game. Let me throw this out there. I never played the game, uh, but I love these illustrations like this. Always love the illustrations on these cards. So that was why I used to buy them because I really, I was really into Pokemon. I played the video game. I never played the card game, and so uh, I just really enjoyed these illustrations. Why is it it's like Shelder? Was that its name? Shelder. And this is a trainer card. Who knows what that says? Uh, what next? Sand Shrew, right? That's pretty cool. It was one of the toxic ones. The poison ones. I don't remember what it was called, though. Uh, oh. Uh, Slowbro? I think that's Slowbro. Oh, I don't remember that one's name. That was a cool looking one, though. Again, yeah, I really like the illustrations on these. I have, like, a ton of Pokemon cards. Oh, cool. Look at this cover. That's really cool looking. Um, but yeah, like I said, I never played the card game. I played the video game, especially the first one. And um, and then later, a Gold and Silver. Uh, played both of those. Uh, never really got into the ones afterwards because they were for different things. But ooh, Pidgeot or something like that. Look at the... Uh, look at the the shiny stuff. Ooh, always like the shiny stuff. Can't go wrong with the shiny stuff. That's a nice looking card. Yeah, still the same back for all these. And oh, uh, that's the one that wears like the skull of its mother or something, which is a pretty grim story if you think about it. Aww. Paris or something like that. Look how cute that is. Aww. It's so cute. Ooh, uh. Oh, man. I can't remember its name. It's the one that could be male or female. Oh. I don't remember. Oh. 
I don't remember this one's name either. And like to do that peck attack. Goldie or Goldine, something like that. That's a cool illustration, though. Again, I mean, that was my whole attraction with these cards when I was uh, back back then was the illustrations. Oh, um, Jigglypuff. When it was seeing and put people to sleep. Butterfree. That's so cute. That's a cool illustration. Again, I don't remember what these were called. I just remember they could be male or female. Oh, I don't remember what they were called either. Oh, here we go. Yeah, now we're definitely getting into the gold and silver stuff here. Shiny, shiny cover. Cool. Yeah, the ones that came after gold and silver, they were for uh, the DS, I think. So I never, never got around to playing that one. Ooh. Nice. That one's pretty cool. I don't remember the name of the Pikachu uh, thing. It's not Pikachu, it's like a, um, something related to it. But shiny. I love shiny stuff. It's cool. Oh, a trainer card. I know the trainer cards are important, but like uh, for the playing the game, they're important. But I never played the game, so I was like, I don't need these trainer cards. I want these kind of cards like this. Look how cute that looks. Oh man, I can't remember the names of these Pokemon at all. I'm hoping uh, someone will be watching this and be like, oh, that's XYZ. Trainer? Ooh, um. Uh, man, I can't remember. Tobiki or something like that? Oh, uh. Oh man, I can't remember any names. That's pretty cool though. That's a really cool illustration. Whoa, those Pokemon are having a blast there. They're enjoying some music. Oh, that one's really cool. It's like a children's book illustration. I dig that. Oh, Crocodile! No. That's not what it was called, was it? Hmm. Push these aside. Mm. Whoa, more. More. All those floating metallic ones. The psychic powers. Yeah, this this uh this cover didn't fare fare too well, did it? Yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah, look at the metallic stuff. You see the grid and everything. Ooh, shiny stuff. That's pretty cool. Yes, the back with the Pokeball. Oh, a Weedle? Something like that. Look at that one. We saw that other one earlier of that same Pokemon. That's a pretty cool one. Ooh, a no trainer card. Again, I know those are important for playing the game. But when you're just collecting them for the art, you're like, eh. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Spider's evil, but still, oh, that one's pretty cool. Spiders aren't evil. Oh, that one's cool. It looks kind of like claymation. Like a claymation puppet model. Ooh. 
that's a nice looking card. That was some kind of dark type. Pokemon. Oh. That's an interesting one. Oh, it's, it's like a kickboxer. Soaking in all the accolades. Oh, <clears throat> I think that's Weedle's uh, next form. I don't remember what it was called, though. Oh, it's the final one. That's the final one of these Japanese ones that I have in the packaging. Yeah, I'm giving you a better look since that other one was a little torn. And oh, wow. First off, the frog design is cool. And then the shiny stuff, super cool. These are super cool. And yes, the back has not changed. <laughs> Ooh, just, you know, just having a peek up. Make sure the scene is clear. Clear. I like how everything looks like little Pac-Man heads. Oh, it's a, a, it's a caterpillar one that turns into Butterfree. Caterpie? I don't remember what it was called. Um, it's one of those metallic things. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, is that one again? The claymation looking one? It's Weedle again. Another repeat. Ooh, check out this one. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, we got another repeat. That's a cool one. excited they're having a good old time whoa and that is another metal one it's like being engulfed in some kind of gel but uh, wow so that's it uh, that's that uh, that was pretty cool uh thanks for watching um if you like the video hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed subscribe and you get more videos like this every tuesday night and then um on saturday mornings uh with me amigos james extreme sorno and god of thunder zeus king dark we i do the mark Almania saturday morning podcast and Occasionally I do music specials, but it's, you know, I think I am try I am currently trying to remake the Summer Chill special that I lost when my last computer died. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, next week, uh, I have something interesting planned for next week. Um, something I got recently, I'm going to open it. Uh, so yeah, it should be interesting. It'll be... Uh, should be cool but yeah thanks for watching everyone stay safe take care out there and adios